this is Jane from Squid Gaming. I'm going to bring you a, another quick tutorial today and this one will be on lighting because as you could see in the previous videos I hadn't added any lights into the game it was just set so everything received, received the uh, same amount of light exposure which looks good for testing purposes but does not look anywhere near as good as sort of realistic spotlighting and if you have an outside map with a skybox you can also have a sun but for portal I probably won't need to go into that so uh, first things first uh, decide the kind of light you would want the best lights for sort of indoor use are um, spotlights because they're very similar to just spotlights in real life which is what you would use indoors you can also just use the uh, light just light but I would use the light underscore spot and click apply you see gives you a nice cone of where the light's going to go then you just grab that and move it around until you're happy with where it is. And you can then adjust the color and brightness. So if you want to change the color or brightness, go into the brightness section. The first three are first three digits are red, second are green, and third are blue, just like normal, and the last three are the brightness value, so obviously higher is it'll go further and illuminate more. Reset this to a thousand and keep all of those on two by five to have a nice bright white light. So now if you were to run this, um, depending if you start a new map and run it for the first time with no lights in the map it will automatically set to a thing called full bright which means everything is illuminated equally this is not what you want when you have lights in there because then you won't be able to see them unless that's turned off so I'll just quickly show you what to do if when you do this all it still looks exactly the same Okay, so back in my test chamber, as you can see, it looks a lot different. It's now just this one spotlight illuminating from one area. Um, I have it, I think I got lucky and it automatically got rid of the full bright. But if yours still looks the same, open the developer console by pressing the little squiggly line button below the escape key if you're on a Windows computer not try to do it on a Mac or anything but um, it's a fairly simple thing to find out you should know and then type in mat mat underscore full f u l l then it should come up with full bright there and set that and then put a space and then type in zero put this in the description to just to make it easier and press enter and obviously as you can see it didn't do anything but if I type in type it in and put it as one you see everything went back to what it was before if yours looks like this when you type it in and set it to zero it should get rid of all lights except the lights that you put in yourself as entities also but as you can see this doesn't look really like an in-game portal map because you just sort of got to imagine in a uh, test chamber in a science testing facility they're not going to have little dark corners everything's going to be nice and brightly lit um, so you know you've got a nice sterile clean white look 
So just make sure you give that appearance of a real sort of menacing portal like test facility. Or you can have little dark corners, that works too, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, this is being James from Squid Gaming and I've just locked myself in this little room. But anyway, so hope you learned something. This has been a quick one. There will be more going up today. See ya.